And now, Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill with your full seven-day forecast. And thank you for joining us, folks. If you got a chance to see this rainbow, take a look at it. Carol and Muddlety showed us. Now, you see it in the evening or in the early morning when you have a shower that's moving through and the sun comes out before the rain stops. In the evening, the rainbow will always be to your east. In the morning, the rainbow will be always to your west. So Carol sent this photo and then Goldie sent this photo. You can see the billowing cumulonimbus clouds amidst a blue sky. And those cumulonimbus clouds have given way to rain and we have more showers that are pressing through the region. Western Fayette County, briefly heavy rain right now in Montgomery that will move towards Oak Hill and Raynell about one inch per hour. Fortunately, it's moving at a very fast pace, so we are not expecting flooding. On the back side of it, we have a cold front. This cold front moving south and east, but notice more showers back through Indiana. That's the colder air pouring over the Great Lakes, and eventually those showers will get here tomorrow afternoon. So two rounds, the first between now and 1 a.m., the second round, tomorrow afternoon. Our temperatures are in the 60s, but we're in the 50s in Pittsburgh, Columbus, and Cleveland, and that cooler air will be with us tomorrow. So looking outside right now, showers till 1 a.m., then mostly cloudy. We're down to 53 degrees. Hard to believe because it's 66 degrees right now. Some of these roadways will be a little bit wet for the morning commute, but quickly drying out. That cooler air spills in our direction tomorrow, 60 degrees the high. We have warmer temperatures across the northern plains, that is warmer than 24 hours ago. So we are guaranteeing that this is just a temporary cool down in our pattern. 66 in Beckley, but 50 in Chicago, 62 degrees, even warmer right now in Fargo. So tomorrow, you won't need the umbrella, especially after 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning, have those occasional showers. The rays of sun, well, that'll be between about sunrise and 10 a.m. before we get these rain showers in here. All right, timeline, Friday, 7.30 p.m., a couple of showers. Saturday, we wake up to sunshine after a little bit of fog. Front comes through, this front will spark a couple of showers in the afternoon, so if you have any morning plans, it'll be dry. After that moves through, we are under high pressure for a couple of days, and that high pressure moves away. Low pressure moves in. Beautiful Sunday, beautiful Monday, rain in here right in time for election day. That storm system moves out. It is dry on Thursday. So 60 degrees tomorrow, 62 degrees on your Saturday. Gorgeous on Mother's Day, 63. We're back in the 70s Monday and Tuesday. Look at that, rain after noon on Tuesday, ending early Wednesday, and then Thursday, bright sunshine, temperatures in the lower 70s. So 